Hello everybody, this is Sonia and I'm on here today because I wanted to make some bobo beads. I'm going to um, show you how I'm going to make it with this bead roller that was gifted to me. A friend of mine made this and she gave it to me so that was good of her. This is just an eye pin, an eye pin I think it's called. comes up in there and there's a little round thing. You find these in your husband's shed according to you know people. Okay, so I need a piece of paper as well. I'm going to use some sari silk. Because I like to start out with the paper, it gives it a bit more um, a stifferness. There's a word. Okay, so I've got some sari silk. I've got some sari silk in a bottle here, and a few other things as well. But that's what I'm going to get out of here. Some sari silk. It's nice. All like that bit. These are these are pieces of other stuff as well. But, oh yes, look, I like that one. Okay, so there's other things here too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> But you do need a bit of other, like, different pieces of fabric if you want to. I love the orange one too. I do like those two colours. That's too, that might be a tiny bit too frilly. There's a bit. There's a bit. You don't need much just to do this. So, of course, I took out everything in the jar. This is cool, isn't it? Might be something I could put on there after. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what we got. Okay, so we've got a bit of that. This bit fell down. This come from out of the. Um, did this come from out of that mat? I think it might have done. Anyway, so <clears throat> what you do is you get yourself some paper. Have one of these if you've got one, and we're going to roll up just a bit for a minute. I want to see how much I need first, and then I'm, see when you take that out, you've got a hole in there, and you need to have the hole, so that's good. So I'm going to cut this up now. Get some glue on here. Been playing a lot with the glue this morning. Just a bit down here. I'm just using a bit of piece of scrap paper. You don't need anything particular. Just this piece of paper. You want something, of course, that's going to be able to bend in that for you, though. Okay, through there. Turn that round nicely, and hopefully this will go. Like that, okay. There'll be glue. All right. Now we don't want it to be too tight because I need to be able to get it off. So it's okay. It moves. And that's good. So we got that. Okay. Now we're going to make a bead. I hope we're going to make a bead. A nice bead. I like this. I like the colours going on there. Now, how much do I want to wrap, and what colours do I want to end up with? I think I might tear this in, in half to make it a bit thinner. I do like the colours on it. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to be tearing it in half, am I? Why does it not tear? Why does it not tear? Oh. Use your muscles, that's the way. Here we go. Now. I want a tiny bit of glue on there. I don't know why I'm doing this on my mat, but anyway, it will be fine, I hope. So this is me, here's me bead, and that is about one and three quarter inches, or one, two, three, four centimeters. Back the way that way upside down. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just put a bit of glue about on there like that you don't need to do too much because it'll be wrapped nicely okay so I'll put that on there like that bring it up over the end a tiny bit so you can't see the paper okay now you don't you just turn the handle <laughs> turn the handle. you're just going to turn that around so it'll go on there nicely I don't know is that bit cut that off um, 
Probably should have ended it where the glue ended. Put a bit more on that. Tiny bit more glue. There we go. I don't want to have to clean that. I'm going to move it. Okay, so we've got that bit of colour. Start with. And I want to end up with some of that on the top. I don't know about this. This is extremely furry, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very hairy piece. I might be able to get a bit that's not so much. Oh, hang on. This is very thick, isn't it? It's a really thick piece, this is. A fabric compared to the other ones. It's a really thick piece. Okay, I'm just trying to get a bit so I can have orange piece on there. I'll cut that off there so I could, you don't, and you don't need much because you only need to roll it around a bit. You know, a couple of times even, you know, that's enough. That'll do. Left all his hair behind. Okay, let's put a bit of this one on now. I had nothing on the table here this morning after I tied, tied it a bit and now I've got everything on here. This is probably too wide too, is it? Oh well, you got to, I'm going to have to do something. I can't just keep not using the pieces of fabric, so we're going <laughs> to... Do this. Well, this one here, we're mostly building this up to start with anyway, so it's it's going to be a bit thicker. Okay. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to see any of these bits. Well, I'll go over them again anyway, can't I? I can easily do that. I think I made some of these before with the, with the straw, but today wasn't what I wanted to do. I just wanted to try this for today. This is what I felt like doing. Um, I need to get it a bit thicker, don't we? It's a very thick bead. A bit more substantialness to it. I need some more, more bead to it. More, more fabric. Roll some more fabric. So I'll just dot that round all over the place. I just put this on here now. Again, another bit of this one. Nothing peeping through. I can't do that. If it was sure it'd work, but anyway, it's okay. We got what we got. Okay. All right. See if I can get a bit of this showing. I don't know. Let's see. I've had this sari stuff since oh, forever. I think I think it was gifted to me. I don't know. I did get some myself in the past, but I don't know. So we've got we're all hidden all these nice bits, haven't we? Never mind. I'll find a way for him to peep through here in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. If I do that, that'll, that'll keep some of the red out there. A bit, bit of it. Probably putting too much on of each thing. It'll all, it'll all work out, don't be worry, be nobody panic. It'll all come to pass, whatever we need to do. I'm going to pull this apart. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, that's a good. Gee, it must be as old as me, this bit. I really don't want to cover that. But what do you do, you know? <laughs> How do you not? <clears throat> Stick it 
keeps it down a bit better. <coughs> This one is really thick. I didn't really want a bit of this colour on here, I think. I don't know plans on doing, I don't know if it's going to work or not. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about this. And I'm fair here in front of you, making this noise. Come on, I'm going to leave you, I haven't got time to play the fool with you. <coughs> Let me get some more of this. Put this on the outside. All the tealy blue would be good, but we'll see what happens. We'll go with some of this first. I don't know if it's really thick enough yet. Either because I just think it needs to be a bit thicker. So you don't worry about the little bits that's hanging off here. That's okay. It's all good. It's part of the part of the look of the thing. Probably went too much with that now, too. Give me another pair of scissors. That thing's really annoying. <coughs> still moves. It still moves. That's good. It still moves. Do I need this or do I need blue? <laughs> I don't know, we've got a bit of each colour there, we'll just, I just want to make it a bit thicker, the bead, it's a little bit a bit thicker, so I can do this and then I'll do some more blue, or aqua colour, whatever it is, okay, skinnier than that, I need that to be thinner than that, so I can just, around it. I do like how that tears. Now I am impressed with that. I do like that. <laughs> okay. Oh no. The camera ball. <laughs> it's alright. It'll be fine. It will be alright. Nobody panic. I need to make it a bit more rounder. Righto. Now, over here I have got some of these bits of a gold piece and I have a silver bit. I'm sure it's going to be easier for me to work with this while it's on the stick. Whatever it is. So I'm going to put some of this, um, a little bit of the gold one on I think. It's just like a very, th very thin ribbon. And I'll just start it. There. Just wind it up there nice, nicely. Should stay there, hopefully it will. Glue on the end, everything keeps falling on the table. Oh well, you know, Let's see how it is, I suppose. Hitting the table. I need to put something soft under there. So. How's that looking? It's not too bad. We've got a bit to go yet. We're, nearly, we're not finished yet. A bit to go. Righto, so that's about the as much as I'm going to put on that part of it anyway to start with. After it dries, I could add the odd bead or two, but we're about to put that into practice now, this other part of it. Alright, so we've got that. Now, um, I'm going to have to stick that down a bit better. We can either use a, one of them eye pin things, one of these. If it's long enough, which it isn't, or a piece of wire would be the way to go. And we need some bead caps. So I've got here 
a few different bits of bead cap. Um, I've got these ones here that should fit over the top. I've got these, but they look very heavy. A bit heavy for it. If it was a bit big around, it might work. I don't know. This one here. That one. That doesn't look too bad, does it? So you got those. So we need this bit of wire. Oh, just look at that thing as if I was recording this. So we've got a piece of wire. Okay, so we're going to cut this here. I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to cut it. I'm sure it'll be plenty. <clears throat> and you need to put, of course, this first and then this through the hole, like so. Push it down, come out the other side, which is a good thing. Might have to glue that back down, it's not sticking there. It wants to go off and about. And come on, get that down there. Okay. I probably should have left more, shouldn't I? So, how to attach it? Well, I think I'm going to put a ring on the end of that. They're too small. There's plenty of those in there. But I need a little something on it first. Oh. How about this bit? Put this bit on. Where are you? Come on. <laughs> Can't see for looking here. There's a hole. I know there's a hole there. It could go through there. Thank goodness for that. Now that's not bad. That looks pretty good. You know, because the gypsy would have something a bit gold like, wouldn't they? You know. That looks good for the top. Hang on. Is that out the hole at the bottom or the side? It's in there sideways. Come on. I'll turn around here and look. Hold it up so I can see what I'm doing. Goodness gracious me. Got it. Okay, so... I fear that I've made a mistake by not... By cutting the wire too short. Maybe not. I don't know. It'll be right. I'll figure it out. I'm going to get some of this glue off myself. Anyway, so I'm going to put a... Um, I think that's all I want there. I do, I do think I feel like I need a bead there. I'd like another bead. Something in between the two things. I feel like... little gold bits in here. Undo, please. All right. I like that one. I'm going to put that one in there. So you don't have to worry really about gluing that other thing down. Now I've got to get this thing back on here again. Um, because it's going to be tight and it'll be held down. <laughs> so this can go through the hole anywhere in this because it's a... Got it? Yes, I did. Took a minute, but I got it. See, that looks better just to add the bead to it, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to curl it up, and I don't think I need that far, so I can pinch a bit more down here. I right know, turn that over and roll it around like this. 
on the bigger part of this thing, you need it to be like that, okay? Squish it. I know, they got that bit. Can you see that? I just hope it's not too wonky. Doesn't look too bad. Righto, now I need a bead on here. I like these long ones. And I want to put bead caps in between them and I don't know what I where I've actually put them for the time being. And I've got these little gold ones in here. I could use one of those. Silver ones there, but no Some gold beads. Mm -hmm. I need a sort of blue thing, don't I? I'd put on there. Hang on, I need a blue thing. That that tealy blue it has to be. Bit in here, what about that? How about that one? Oh, yeah, that's good. That looks like it. Oh, that one's good. Got another one of them. I do. Popping away there, stop that. If I could get away with that, I want a burgundy colour now. Or do I? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll just try this bit here and see what happens. I hope this is still hanging in here with me because, you know, you might find out something interesting, eh? That'd be good. I do have some of those, those things. I just don't know what I did with them. I think I've got it in here. I've got these. Here's one. There's one. Well, there's one, there's got to be more, what do you reckon? That thing. And there's that thing. And there's another thing, another thing like that. I've got some of these in here. Very good. A bit of everything. Hmm. That's enough. I'm sure that'll do. I need these, any of these big rings. Let's see if I leave them there. I'll, I'll leave them there in case I do. I might have to get a mouthful of water. Sorry about this. <laughs> okay, now. I need to put the bead cap on. Push that up there. Actually, this has gone and pulled that down too tight. <laughs> Maybe this um this wire might might be I might have to roll it around a couple of times, eh, Sonia? I suppose you're wondering why she doesn't get another piece of wire. <laughs> it's sitting fair in front of me. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to battle with this, other way. This is what I do, I suppose. <laughs> okay, put this on here. Right, you go the right place. I've bought hundreds of these things a really long time ago because you know things were a lot cheaper well they still are now but I did buy my back in the day okay so let's have one of these 
one of these. This thing. Whatever it is. I'll make a a rolling up piece here. Like that. And it's not gonna it's not gonna do wiggly things because I haven't put anything else on here. I'm not happy with this wire that I've got in it. But I'm not gonna take it out either, I'm gonna leave it like that. That looks pretty good. But I need I think I might put a dangle on there, what do you reckon of something? Might get a smaller bead than that too. That's just really wrong. Um I need something for a container. I'm going to get the lid off of this. Put these things in it for a minute. I could leave this like it is because it just it will just hang on the side of the book. But then I could add some dangly bits to it, you know, to make it oops more interesting, I suppose. Um, I need one of these. I bought all these online. They were you could have all the sizes, all the same size, the different colours. I got four different sizes. I bought them ages ago. I haven't done anything with them yet. You can't. Oh, I can move it. I'm sure I can. Surely, just move that out there. This is a dangly bit that we're putting on the bottom, isn't it? So I fasten that on there. Then I need to put something onto that, so I have to make a dangle to put the dangle onto there. Which I don't know if I've already got some of those somewhere, but I probably have, but not today can I see any. No. <laughs> Can't see any today. Hang on a minute. These are a bit flash. These ones, look. These are made with um, a bead. Of course, they are made with a bead. So there's a paper one. There's a nice paper one. Okay, I'll put this back up there. Oh, I think it's going to go back, you know, when you take them out. So this has got um, some good dangly bits on it. I think it might be made out of a bit better piece of wire too. I don't know, this, it seems a bit stiffer, that wire that this is on. See so yeah, how that's pretty jazzy. But I do like how this turned out. I'm going to make some. I need to make a dangle to put on it here. So this has got a few little bits to make that. But you need a piece. If you use one of these, which I have, would like a gold one. Seriously, I would. I'd like some gold ones. Have I got any gold posts? Because they're a bit thicker than that wire. You go, oh, look at this. There's a box full of them here. Oh dear, oh dear, Sonia. Now I can do something. <laughs> I finally found something to do something. Now, I'm going to take that off there. Hope this is still with me because we're getting to the right bit now, aren't we? I'm going to take this bit off. Put, a, put this on here, right? Like that. By undoing this bit. <laughs> and back it up. That's why, and then put this on. Okay, because we need a bit of a dangle down, don't we? I couldn't believe I got all there. I could. I thought I didn't have any gold ones. Just didn't look far enough, did I? I do roll that round and roll it round and roll it round. So it's round rolled enough. Rolled around enough. Now what have I got here? Have I done that wrong? Probably. This loop's supposed to be in the other pit. <laughs> ah dear, please don't do what I do, people. My mojo has really gone on bad on me. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I can't seem to get to get myself to do anything that works properly these days. I just don't know what's going on. I just don't know. The sun's shining. And when the sun comes out, I feel a lot better, so I don't know what's the matter with me. Right, now, if I can 
manoeuvre this thing, I can get that open, if I can get it open, and I did, and I can hook that onto there, which would have made this a lot easier in the first place, if you'd have done that, Sonia, in the first place. Oh dear. Just fix this first, it's not working for you because it's all wrong, isn't it, Sonia? You've got to get it right. Now, who is this? You don't need it open that far, you just need it open far enough to hook that through there. <laughs> so I'll slow down. I just, I'm panicking because I'm hoping that it's working and it's, if it's not working, I get panicky and it shouldn't be nobody panic. That's what we should be saying, Sonia, nobody panic. I don't want that big, that, that big loopy thing on there. Is that right? No. It is not. Open that tiny, a tiny way. Just a tiny, where is it? I can't see a thing I'm doing here, you know. I don't know what's going on with that. Everything's not in my line of sight at all. Close it up. Righto. Got it. Finally. Oh. Now, if this lasts for as long as I get put it on the book, I'll be really pleased about that. I really will. Right. Now I need to put something more down here. And I add some more bits to it. I have another blue. Here it is. A blue one. Let's have a bit of. A long piece though, or something. Yeah, that looks alright. Does it need one of these little things first? One of them. These little things first. I bought myself some nail polish the other day. I got the one that I got on and I bought some pur pinky, purpley cup. I put it on and I did look dreadful. <laughs> I don't know how many lots I've bought and they just don't suit me. So I've decided to stick to what I'm doing here. Stick to what I've got on. Or oh, the sparkly one, but I hate the sparkly one because it's really hard to get off. It's really hard to get off. Put on another blue one. Now this will look better. Won't it? I'm sure it will. Look much nicer. A bit of a bit. And it all goes together, doesn't it? The, the pieces that I've put on. They're all going together well. And they That looks better. Must be much better, Sonia. Okay, so now I can cut this bit off here somewhat because I don't need it that big. Oops, I had to hold it in my hand because I didn't want it to go flying away. So it's there now on the table. Okay, so just turn your little stick thing back across that way and then you just roll this up. Should be around right far enough. Here we go. No, Sonia's a bit tighter than that. How about now? This is going to move to a degree because it's, it's for a dangle look. These bits here need to be pressed in a tiny bit. Get that right. There's one bead. Boy, wow, that took, you know, that'd be a pricey boot if I had to pay by the hour <laughs> to make it. Wouldn't it cost me a lot of money for that? Surely would. No, I'm finished yet. <laughs> I want to put some beads on it. I want to put some beads on it now. So, I'll get myself a bead needle. A bit of thread. This will have this one because this will be good to use, won't it? It's all the good colours. Thread that through there. Sometimes a day. I've got him very impatient with myself lately. I shouldn't be. 
than I am. I guess when you get older, you can't do what your mind thinks you're going to. Your body goes, <laughs> swears at you. It says, go away. It doesn't swear. It just says something that's not rude, but, you know, you can't say it anyway. To do with pee. <laughs> and it just, I don't know. You just can't do anything about it. You just got to go, go with it, don't you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, now, I've got some of these, look, beads. I do like the metallic ones. So I have a knot in this, but I'm going to go and try and tuck it under there somewhere where you can't see it very good. So if you've got a bead needle, you should be able to do this because it's, you know, you've got... Haven't got that much glue on it, I don't think. I've got a knot and it's gone way up in there nearly. And then I'll just pick up a little bead, which I have a lot of good colours here that's going to go really well with this. Hmm. It'd be nice if I showed you though, wouldn't it, what I've got? So you can see what's, what's happening. I'll just move these away. For some reason I put the iron on the table this morning, I thought I was going to use it, but I changed my mind, and now it's in my road. So I've got these really nice ones here, there's a colour of that isn't it, and I'm going to put these on here, I'm just going to put a few, go through it, somewhere and come out, so anywhere you want to, maybe I should put a different colour on the black colour fabric, where I come out at there, and I'll just go back, Go back down in under it. A bit further along. Go over there a bit further. Okay. I do like to put, put the beads on it. I think they look really good. Put the beads on. Come on. So I was trying to go through some of the fabric this morning because so I was going to do some some kits because I, I've got enough stuff to make lots of good interesting things but I don't know, I got too tired, I went out yesterday, it takes me a while to get past that, I go out, I'm going to get through here, come on, sneak down this way, okay, oh no, This keeps disappearing. I'll be able to. I'll be able to fix that anyway. I'm not going to worry about that too much now. Hope this looks like a bow out bead. I think it might do. Everybody's got different ideas, I guess. But this is definitely one. This is definitely what this is. As I said. <laughs> Why don't I make it a bit thicker? I'll think about doing one on the straw because that should make it a bit bigger, shouldn't it? A different gold colour over here. So I didn't have it too bad today. I didn't get much, I only bought one tiny piece of material and Oh, something else that I've left in the back of the it's in my backpack on me go for I forgot all about that. Last night I'm in bed and I think, what happened to that thing I bought? You know, you think, oh gee. And it's still in the bag out there. My hubby didn't must have thought to get it out, he didn't see it. But this looks good, doesn't it? I hope he's like it. I do. I think it's awesome. Besides the fact that you're putting on the boots, this is going to definitely hold things down, isn't it? But I'm going to have to make more than one. I just can't have one bead on the book. I want some on the sides as well. as. I just... I haven't got finished that cover yet, <laughs> and I'm still working on the inside. Things take a minute, you know. You got to be in the, you got to be in the right head space, and you got to be, your mojo's got to be with you. I don't know where mine got to, but it's out there, dagging around somewhere, and <laughs> to get itself back into me. I hate it, you know, when I can't concentrate to do stuff, and I really want to. 
I'm sure there's other people out there that feel exactly the same way. I'm going to fasten this down in here like that. Look at me, look at me go. I'm going to fasten that down a bit. Doesn't need to be, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's not going anywhere. Have I, have I got enough around it? That's not bad. What, what, what's this? I hope that's a bit of the other stuff thrown and not me cotton. Okay. I can go through here and end this off here somewhere. Maybe I should have did more ending off than that, Sonia, but it should be okay. And if somebody goes picking at it to pull it apart, which, you know, it's not likely to happen, I hope. We don't want that to happen, do we? <clears throat> now we're having a problem with this. <clears throat> oh dear. <clears throat> when I put it onto the piece, to the thing, to the book, I will make sure that that's not going to be an issue, that it's not going to come undone or anything. So, there you go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I do like it. Could be a tiny bit wonky, but, you know. And now I've got some, um, I found the gold bits. I'm going to be able to make some more <laughs> that are not wonky, I hope. I do love these. I've done this with, I've covered the bead with ribbon, with silk ribbon to make these. They're not a boho style, so they won't be on the book, but it's an idea for you. This is one that's just made out of paper that I continually rolled around. I don't think it's, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.